Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Night Prayer for Wednesday, January the 25th, 5th. It's the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul and the scripture for this service. Psalms 53, Acts chapter 9, verse 1 to 22. And the canticle is the Song of the Three Young Men, verse 29 to 34. <clears throat> Our help is in the name of God the Most High the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia! Fools have said in their heart, there is no God above. Alleluia! Psalm 53. Fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. Their deeds are corrupt and depraved. There is no good person left. God looks down from heaven on the peoples of the earth to see if any are wise, if any seek God. All have left the right path, depraved, every one. There is no good person left, no, not even one. Will the evildoers not understand? They eat my people as though they were eating bread, and they never pray to God. See how they tremble with fear, without cause for fear. For God will scatter the bones of the wicked. They are shamed, and God rejects them. Oh, that Israel's salvation might come from Zion, when God delivers a pe the people from bondage, when Jacob, Leah, and Rachel will be glad, and Israel shall rejoice. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. The Conversion of Saul. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest, and he asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now, as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and he heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, who are you, Lord? And the reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, because they heard the voice, but saw no one. And Saul got up from the ground, though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. And so they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. And for three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, and he answered, Here I am, Lord. And the Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment he is praying, and he has seen a vision. A man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints 
in Jerusalem, and here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who invoke your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before the Gentiles and the kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. And so Ananias went and entered the house, and he laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes, and his sight was restored. And then he got up and was baptized, and after taking some food, he regained his strength. For several days he was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, saying, He is the Son of God. And all who heard him were amazed and said, Is this not the man who made havoc in Jerusalem among those who invoke this name? And has he not come here for the purpose of bringing them bound to the chief priests? And Saul became increasingly more powerful and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Messiah. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Alleluia! Glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. The Song of the Three Young Men. Glory to you, God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths on the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, source of all being. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Alleluia. O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.